A five-seat tilt-rotor electric taxi could soon be flying over London. Here's what you need to know. British aerospace manufacturer Vertical Aerospace has released designs for a vectored thrust flying taxi that could start commercial flights as early as 2024, if everything goes according to plan. Construction on the aircraft will soon start at the company's headquarters in Bristol. The VA-1X would be the world's first certified winged all-electric vertical takeoff and landing or eVTOL aircraft. According to Vertical Aerospace, the VA-1X will be 30 times quieter than a conventional helicopter and use less energy and power. This is because the aircraft is powered by lithium-ion batteries and features a distributed propulsion system, the company says. Vertical Aerospace unveiled the design on Wednesday, August 26th. The company says the VA-1X will be able to fly up to around 100 miles at speeds of 150 miles per hour. It could make the 47-mile commute from Brighton to London in 30 minutes, or half the time of a train commute. The cabin of the VA-1X will accommodate up to four passengers and one pilot. Payload capacity will be 992 pounds. The VA-1X has a wingspan of just over 49 feet and a 42 feet long fuselage. This means it would be able to take off and land at existing helipads, the company says. According to the BBC, more than 100 companies around the world are developing electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Let's have a look at the competition. Haven't thought about it? Uber has, and they call it the future of transportation, and TechCrunch reported that the initial cost will be lower than a helicopter ride. On Tuesday, the ride-sharing company, for the first time, offered a look at the inside of its aviation product, Uber Air. On its website, Uber says Uber Air is envisioned at a zero-emission electric air vehicle service available at the push of a button and created by the company in a bid to ease road congestion. According to The Verge, the interior was designed in partnership with French aerospace company Safran. Four passenger seats are turned outwards to the window in rows of two. Behind the second row is room for storing passenger luggage. The craft is illuminated in blue light, and according to Forbes, it has seats upholstered in aerospace-grade ultra-leather, a tough, low-friction material for passengers to easily slide in and out of. According to Forbes, initially the designers had envisioned a cabin more fitting to the customer's needs with charging points, cup holders, and digital screens. But Ian Scully, a vice president at Safran's design studio, told Forbes, We realized for an eight-minute flight, that's all irrelevant. Uber states on its website that it aims to demonstrate flights in 2020 and for the service to become commercially available in 2023. Dallas and Los Angeles will be the first places to offer this service commercially, with Melbourne being the first city outside the U.S. to host trials. Get ready to fly in a taxi with style. The BBC reports Rolls-Royce is planning to launch a four to five seat flying taxi with a maximum speed of 250 miles per hour. The vehicle would be powered by six electric propulsors and use gas turbine energy. Rolls-Royce claims the flying taxi would also be able to take off and land vertically as its wings are able to rotate 90 degrees. The company also claims that once the vehicle reaches its cruising height, its propellers would automatically fold away and rely on several rear propellers for thrust. Fizz.org reports that the EVTOL, or Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Vehicle, could be flying in the skies by 2020. According to a statement published by the company, the vehicle could be used for military purposes as well as for cargo or personal use. Though still probably more than a few years away, dreams of commuting through our cities in flying vehicles may become a reality. German company Lilium's two-seater flying jet prototype features 36 propellers and runs entirely on electricity, making it emission-free. The aircraft takes off vertically and accelerates into forward flight with the help of its wing flaps. The prototype was controlled remotely during its first test flight in April. The company's plan is to build a fleet of air taxis that can be booked on demand via smartphone by 2025. Like Uber, but with flying jets. With low battery consumption and a cruising speed of up to 300 kilometers per hour, travel time will be reduced and will come at a fraction of the cost of regular taxis. The company claims their first manned flight won't be too far off and even wants to create a five-seater version of its VTOL aircraft. But with a couple of other aviation companies also developing their own flying vehicles, the race is on. Need to go to work, but don't feel like waiting in rush hour? Dubai is set to go all Jetsons this summer by offering flying drone taxis. The Dubai Roads and Transport Authority has announced it will start operating drone taxis in July along predetermined routes. They will be using the Ehang 184 Autonomous Quad Opener Electric Drone to shuttle people around the city via air. 
The Ehang 184 drone can carry one passenger with a maximum weight of 220 pounds. The drone can fly 31 miles on one charge at a top speed of 100 miles per hour, although officials said their drones will operate at 62 miles per hour. Passengers will board the drone, buckle into a harness, and select a destination on the touchscreen before taking off. The Ehang drones will be monitored through a central command center on the ground. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.